Hi guys! Well, I did the autumn tag, so now I'm going to do the Halloween tag. Mwahaha. And as you can see, I made the background all Halloween-y. Isn't it so cool? Look at it, the spiders, and they keep outside. The spiders don't like I... Like, I wanted a Halloween background for this video, so anyway, here it is. And then I'm going to be doing another Halloween video, so I thought, right, let's get to it. Right, guys, the Halloween tag. So again, it's just like the autumn tag. I'll be answering a bunch of random questions about Halloween. Okay, so let's go. Favourite horror or Halloween theme song? I put a spell on you from Hocus Pocus. Awesome mom. I love that movie. I love Hocus Pocus, but I love that movie. It's, it's one of the best Halloween musical moments ever. It's just, it is awesome. Okay. Name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or an abandoned building. Um, I'd have to say an axe murderer, probably. Like, or the ghost face from Scream. So those are probably two things I would not want to run into. Ghosts, don't bother me. Me at all. Well, but probably Ghostface or a mad axe murderer would probably scare the hell out of me. Okay. Have you ever played with a Ouija board? Uh, no. I'm not sure if they're real, but I really don't want to take the chance. Okay. Favorite horror movie, mon favorite horror monster or villain? Um, Dracula. Without a doubt, Dracula. Without a doubt. I love Dracula. I love vampires. I just think Count Dracula is the most awesome vampire ever. He's like the best. I love the Dracula movies. Okay. Favourite horror movie of all time? Scream. I love that movie. I just think it's the best. Like, what do you call it? Wes Craven, after creating the Nightmare on Elm Street series, went on to create this amazing piece of work. So I just think the sequels were... But the first one was 100% fucking brilliant. I love it. I just love watching it. Okay. Favourite Halloween movie of all time? Hocus Pocus. You have to watch it every Halloween. It's like Home Alone at Christmas. You have to watch Hocus Pocus at Halloween. It's just that is a given. You have to do that. Favourite horror movie moment ever? The first 10 minutes of Scream. They are flipping so scary. Drew Barrymore on the phone with your guy. Like, you don't know where he is, where he's hiding. It's like, he's like, oh, like It scares me shit. Every time it scares the hell out of me, guys. It's so scary. It's so, so, so spine chilling. Like, you you don't know he's gonna pop out, so first 10 minutes of screen with Drew Barrymore, just so flippin' freaky. Okay, favourite horror series? Um, I suppose in terms of TV series, there's a new series called House on Haunted Hill that I'm looking forward to tuning into. But a show I really love to say is a good horror series is a TV adaption of, that's right, you guessed it, Scream. Yeah, they made a series, series, TV series out of it. Two seasons, first season was amazing, second season was, okay, okay. And they're making a third season with new characters, so I'm looking forward to that, so definitely at the moment scream. Although I do love a good bit of American Horror Story. Okay. Dracula or Frankenstein? Uh, Dracula, as I just said, Dracula is like the most awesome horror movie villain ever. Ever. Worst scary movie ever made. The first Annabelle movie. Oh my god, that movie was a car crash. That movie was a disaster, guys. I'm serious. It was a mess. Just, it was just all that hype and excitement. It was just, it was a damn squid. Oh, it was just awful. The creepiest thing that's ever happened to you when you were alone? Well, nothing creepy has ever happened to me when I'm alone, but I suppose one thing I have to say is sometimes, you know what, after you watch a horror movie and you go to bed, then you start to hear creaky noises, and you think you hear someone come up the stairs, so I suppose that kind of thing, you think you hear some little noise, and you think, well, fuck, is there someone in the house? Oh, God, should I run? So it's, okay. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? Yes, I would. Well, the common sense of me part says, no. But the other part of me, the reckless part says, Yes! So I would have to say yes. Sure, I've seen the movies, I know it's done. Just put it across and be like, oh, in the name of God, I condemn you back to hell. So so I wouldn't be. I've seen the all the all the all the scary movies, so I know how I know what I'm doing. I'd be right in the field, I'd be drowned. Okay. Are you superstitious? A little bit. I'm a bit superstitious about things like um magpies and um mirrors and this sort of like small things but they're not overly superstitious although I suppose it is a bit silly to be superstitious because you don't know if any of them are really true but a wee bit. Do you prefer gores or thrillers? That's a tough one. Um, I would have to say gores. Well not too gory. It's a bit of both actually. You know, I don't mind gory but as long as it's not too gory gory and I don't mind, I love a good thriller like Psycho. If you haven't watched Psycho guys by Alfred Hitchcock, watch it. Don't watch the remake with Vince Vaughn. It is terrible. Watch the original. Do you get scared easily? Yes. Especially when someone kindly sneaks up behind me and jump scares me. Like, seriously, please don't do that. I hate when people scare me. So annoying. Annoying. 
you're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house, what do you do? Well, if that ever happens, I aim to be standing beside the knife drawer so that I can pull out the sharpest knife and stab that bitch. And stab that fucker. Fucker. Or, more preferably, run out the back door. Although, in horror movies, you should never run out the back door. Because they may come in that way as well, so it's... <laughs> I don't know, I suppose so. Uh... Okay. If you got trapped in one scary movie, what would it be? Scream, again, I love Scream. Scream is awesome. It's awesome, I'd love to be in that movie. Or again, I would actually love to be in the country. That would be fun, be in that scary house with the witch. That would be fun. Yeah. If you could wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? Ghostface from Scream, without doubt. I would be Ghostface, because I love the costume. I think the mask is so freaky looking, the way it's done, it's just, it's, just so awesome, so that would be the costume I'd wear. Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? <laughs> yeah, sure, that's a smart idea. Uh, well, I suppose. Maybe could go on Halloween night just for the crack, but uh, actually, I don't think so. It'd actually be really creepy, be too spooky, so uh, actually, no. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or go trick or treating? Um, I'd rather go to a Halloween party, you know, have a few drinks, have a few laughs, and Maybe at the end of it, sit down with a glass of wine and we can all tell ghost stories in the dark with the torch like they do in the movies. <laughs> so probably I would go to the Halloween party. Because I'm 26, I'm a bit old for trick-or-treating. Okay, next question. You're in a horror movie. Are you the final, the final girl? The first to die. <laughs> the comic relief, haha. <laughs> in other words, the guy who gets stoned. The skeptic, the skeptic is like, oh, there's nothing funny going on here. The smart one. The killer won't catch me, I'll run out the back door! Or... The killer. Well, in all honesty guys, I would have to say I would be... The killer. Because <laughs> probably I'm crazy, yeah, I'd be the killer. Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? Uh, 100% yes, without doubt. Because sometimes, after I watch a scary movie, I chose to watch it says 1 and 2 before bed a couple of weeks ago, and I kept hearing noise, kept freaking me out, so... Yeah, I need to watch something happy before, or lighthearted before I go to bed after watching the scary because I'm just getting freaked out. I think every single noise means there's something coming up the stairs in the dark. <laughs> Whilst watching scary movies, are you the person who yells at the characters with, with the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? Probably the one who yells in the screen, because they're like, oh, no, 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 don't go in there, get out of there, don't go in there, no, what are you doing? Don't go down there, that's salad, there's something in there. Like, the amount of time someone decides, I'll just go down to the salad and grab something, I'll be right back. Never say that in a horror movie either. So you go downstairs, and the city still gets to jump at you. So I'd probably be the one who'd be screaming at the screen. <laughs> Are you the one who gets scared or the one who does the scaring? As I said earlier in the other question about being scared, I would be the one who gets scared, because someone would probably sneak up behind me and give me a jump scare, which isn't very nice. Favourite scary book? Dracula. Love the book. It's awesome. Just fantastic. How old were you when you saw your first horror movie? Well, when I saw my first horror movie, guys, um, it was a Dracula movie. Uh, it was probably one of the few horror movies my parents had let me watch, so if it was ever on, they let me watch it. So, it's the 1982 version of Bram, Bram Stoker's Dracula, or made by um, Francis Ford Coppola, who made The Godfather. So, if you get a chance, guys, watch the movie. It's awesome. Okay, what was your first Halloween costume? I actually can't remember what that was. It was so long ago. No. What are you... Excuse me? What are you going to be for Halloween this year? Well, that depends if I have plans if I get to go out. You never know, because I'm not the plan at the moment, but if I do go out, I think I would either be Dracula, I might do my own spin on Harley Quinn, or um, Ghostface from Scream. So maybe one of those three, or I might think of something else. If you could have a spooky Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat, wolf, what would you pick? I love oils, but they're a bit Harry Potter, so I would have to say I'd love a pet bat. I'm actually being serious, I would love a pet bat perched on my shoulder. It would just be so cool to have a wee bat on my shoulder, so definitely a bat. So guys, thanks for checking out my Halloween tag video, and hopefully you'll stay tuned for the next few Halloween videos that have got coming up. If I can find the time between my masses, that is, but I will definitely find a way, because I love my vlog and I love doing it. So guys, thanks for checking out this video, and stay spooky. <laughs>